Hi everyone. Okay. So, does anyone know what this is? It is a well. So before we had pipes and faucets where you just turn and then the water comes out. People got their water from a well with a bucket. Usually, woman did this hard job. And one time, Jesus stopped at a well, but he didn't have a bucket to get water. So he was waiting to talk to a certain woman there. And we will find out more about that in our Bible story today. But first, the Bible memory verse, right? John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have, ever, but have eternal life. So God did not just say he loves us. He showed it. God proved his love by his plan to send Jesus to die for us and make the way to have forgiveness and eternal life. Our key passage reminds us that we do not have to do anything to earn this amazing gift. As soon as we believe the gospel, we get eternal life. And then we are still doing, I think this is the last time, Jesus Messiah, the song by Chris Tomlin. All I hope is in you. All I hope is in you. All the glory to you, God, the light of the world. Jesus Messiah, name above all names. Blessed Redeemer, Emmanuel, the rescue for sinners, the ransom from heaven. Jesus Messiah, Lord of all. Jesus Messiah, Lord of all. The Lord of all, the Lord of all. Okay, so our story. But remember, we're always going to give some background information first, okay? So Jesus' public ministry was underway. People came to Jesus and he healed them. Right? That we learned that like three weeks ago. And then Jesus also taught that he is the Messiah. But some still rejected him. Then last week, we learned that Jesus taught that we must be born again. And then that's here what else he taught in today's story, which is called Jesus and the Samaritan woman. So Jesus had been teaching in the land of Judea. So he was teaching here. And when it was time to leave, Jesus and his disciples traveled toward the land of Galilee. So they tried to get here. And they traveled right through Samaria to get there. Even though most times Jews, they avoid this area, but he went right through there. And he stopped at one of the towns there where there, where there was a well. Um, and he's, Jesus stayed at a well. So he was there waiting around and his disciples went into town to buy food. Now a woman who lived in Samaria came to the well to get water. And this is what Jesus said to her. He said, give me a drink. And the woman was surprised. Jews did not like Samaritans. Why are you talking to me? She asked. I am a Samaritan. She thought maybe Jesus doesn't know who she is. You know? So she's like, let me tell you who I am. I'm a Samaritan. And this is what Jesus said. If you knew the gift of God and who it is that is saying to you, give me a drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. So basically Jesus told her that if she knew who he is, she would have asked him for a drink and he would give her living water. And now the woman was confused. Remember how sometimes Jesus teaching, you don't get it right away. Remember how Nicodemus was confused last week? Well, this week, the woman was confused. Jesus did not have any water with him. He did not even have a bucket to get water out of the well. So the woman asked, Sir, where do you get living water? And Jesus said, Everyone who drinks of this water will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks of the water that I the water that, that I will give him will never be thirsty again. That sounded wonderful. But Jesus was not talking about actual water. He was talking about um, God's spirit. Whoever, so when you talk about water, you talk about God's spirit. Whoever has God's spirit will have eternal life. The woman still did not understand. But she said, Sir, I want living water. Then I will not have to keep coming to this well to get water with my bucket. And so Jesus tell her to go, call your husband and come here. And the woman replied, I do not have a husband. 
And Jesus knew she was telling the truth because Jesus knew everything about the woman. The woman could tell Jesus was wise. So she asked him a question about worshiping God. Then she said, I know the Messiah is coming. He will explain everything to us. And then Jesus said, I who speak to you and him. Basically, Jesus is saying, look, I am the Messiah. So the woman left and told people in her town what had happened. Many people believed in Jesus because of what the woman said. Jesus stayed in the town for two days and more, many more people believed in him. The people say, we have heard for ourselves and we know that this is indeed the savior of the world. So the point of the story is that Jesus gives the Holy Spirit to those who believe. So Jesus offers something better than physical water, right? Like he offers something better than physical water, which we need. He gives us himself. Jesus gives the Holy Spirit to any, everyone who comes to him by faith. We can worship him as Lord and Savior wherever we are. Okay, the big picture question. What makes people special? People are special because we are made in God's image, as male and female to know him. The woman at the well was surprised when Jesus spoke to her because Jewish men did not speak to Samaritan women. But remember, Jesus loves all people because he loves everyone God made. And remember the catechism question, who will be saved? And the answer is only those who repent of sin, believe in Christ, and lead holy lives. So you can listen to the song, Jesus Messiah. I send it to your parents. You have the activity sheets to help you really learn more about the story today. Um, and let's go over one last time, John 3, 16, which I'm sure everyone has memorized by now, right? For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Okay, let's pray. Dear God, we thank you that you love us so much and that you gave us the, the Bible so that we can learn about what Jesus did while he was on earth and what he taught. Thank you for the story today about the Samaritan woman and thank you for giving the Holy Spirit to all of us who repent of our sins and believe in you. God, please help us to be more like Jesus and help us to tell others about you wherever we are. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen.